Welcome, welcome, welcome to the second edition of Minuteless. That's right. This is your Limitless by the Minute podcast. Everybody, I am Franklin. You can find me at Bug TV Franklin, and I am joined by the coolest uncle of my whole world. Oh, that's me. Hey, I'm Uncle Howard. You can find me on Twitter at Miata Guy for you. And uh, we are the hosts of this podcast. And again, even though it's Tuesday, we had a sleepover in the king size bed. So you better believe that Taylor from the Blue Ribbon Podcast Awards are still here. What up, baby? It's so great to have been here for overnight sleeping <laughs> adjacent to the uh a king size bed it's so much fun watching this show with this movie one minute at a time with you guys i love it let's keep yeah. it going let's keep oh. it going everybody that's <laughs> yeah, right taylor did you say only... where they can find you I'm oh sorry. yes no no that's uh my uh twitter is uh flattery uh underscore sucks uh at twitter yeah how's it how's it feel to be how's it how's it feel to be an underscore guy uh, it's funny you should ask. No, not really. But I, ever since I was like little, like when I first made, not little, but when I made my first like hotmail, I used an underscore. Mm, and okay. uh, it's just, uh, I just love them. I think they're beautiful. I hate I them. And I, and I was an underscore guy. That's why I hate mm-hmm. them. Because it just doesn't look right. Uh, yeah. And you'd always have to explain it to people. Uh, when you write it, when you had to write down your email, you had to really write yeah. down a fucking line. It was just a whole ordeal. And my first Instagram handle was underscore real Bradley Cooper because real Bradley Cooper was taken. <laughs> and fun fact, he's in this movie. Yeah, I wonder who took it. <laughs> you know? Because because the real Bradley Cooper would just take Bradley Cooper, so you know. Yeah, he doesn't need to put the real. He just you he know it's Bradley real. Cooper. I love how so many wrestlers do that. They feel like I'm the real Sting. Like, <laughs> cool, dude. Like, yes, fuck, that <laughs> sounds wicked. <laughs> that, that sounds so sad. <laughs> I, I I wish the Rock had to put the real Rock for his Twitter. Oh I my wish he, God, I wish somebody good. beat him to the punch. Yeah, yeah. I remember I, I got the internet in 1996 and the thing that i regret the most is not being like i'm gonna lock down some of this intellectual property names (laughs) and stuff why didn't you why don't you you know buy the domain for hulkhogan.com and uh, 12 years old it would have been such a power move but i was busy uh expanding my horizons by you didn't uh, have nzt that's right exactly i i didn't have that next level uh were you on aol uh i so i was canadian no you're not uh, yeah. I, I used AIM yeah. at, at one point, like say around 90s. Wait, were you on a CompuServe? No, the company I was with was called uh, Simpatico. That's the Canadian yeah. AOL? Kind of, yeah. Like, yeah, because they would send out like the, like you guys had the things like the, the disc. CDs. Free trial discs. Right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like we, we didn't get those because they just, just one day my mom was like, yeah, I got a computer. And we're like, oh, okay. And then she's like, and do you, do you know about this internet thing? And I like kind of did. And so then we had it. And then she was just like, yeah, we have the internet now. And then I was like, yeah. oh, like addicted to it almost immediately. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same here. I was spending so much time in chat rooms. Like my Same. first experience, I recall, I, I recall uh, going, my first experience in AOL, I went to a chat room called The Lobby. And yeah, I thought it was just people from hotel lobbies yeah. uh, speaking to me on a, on a computer at a hotel. And uh, I was telling my sister, I'm like, oh, yeah, I spent a lot of time on the air. Well, yeah, I was in this uh, place called the lobby. It was great. You know, I met so many people. It was so fun. And she's like, you go to other chat rooms, you know, I'm like, she explained <laughs> it to me. So another person who could have used NZT is yours truly. What about you, Uncle Circa. Howard? Uh, when could I have used NZT in my life? No, have you used AOL? Oh, yeah, big time, big time, buddy. I was on AOL back in the day. I was on a, in fact, I remember when I was very young, uh, there was some guy I went to school with, and he said something, you know, like, does your dad have a computer that can plug into a phone line? And I was like, yeah. And he was like, go into it and then type in a thing and you go to this thing. And I went there and it was like a, a bulletin board system. Oh, Jesus. That's Jesus. mega old school. And yeah, yeah I mean, the AOL was around at that point, but the guy was like, he was like, man, you want like the real internet? And I'm like, yeah. 
That was the dark web. That was yeah. the intellectual dark web. I, 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 and uh, it was all right. A lot of I just went on there and just it was kind of a chat room, but for lo- locals only. Yeah. And I never That's dangerous. Wanted, I never wanted to yeah. hang out with them because even as a, oh, as, no. a as a wee boy, I got some uh, sweatpants vibes off of them. <laughs> 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 yeah that's yeah. that's definitely for the best yeah. yeah that that is definitely for the best so is there anybody you guys can think of this week since it's been uh a, a day now a yeah. day yeah so uh, since it's been a whole new set of 24 hours who could use some nzt who's in a rut that could really uh, use some nzt yeah how about that freaking cheeto in chief donald freaking trump oh, oh boy. boy what a what a dim bulb that guy is. We all yeah. know what happened to him since this is Tuesday. Since yesterday. <laughs> since yesterday. <laughs> that he blockhead. Says so much. <laughs> that thing he said on Twitter, I, I can't believe it. No, I don't agree with it. And I just Definitely want that don't. to be clear up front. He spelled some words wrong. And he was very <laughs> inflammatory towards a group of people. How about Rudy Giuliani? He could use some NZT. He's like Uncle Leo. Yeah. I don't know where I am. <laughs> Jerry, hello. I'm confused. <laughs> someone someone better put out a missing persons report for Rudy Giuliani. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really. Brain. Yeah. Last scene, <laughs> 2001, New York City. Yeah, Ooh, America's boy. mayor. If it wasn't for him, America would never have known it was okay to laugh again. That's no, true. That's the, that's the friends. The friends taught us that, not him. No, he, because no, he was he, on SNL and they yeah, said we true. make jokes again. And he said, like, yeah. I guess so. <laughs> the biggest joke of He's all like, is him. That's true. He was a hero because Because uh, why? Uh, New York when it was attacked. So ah. that makes he, him a hero. He responded adequately in the <laughs> manner that his job required. Yeah, he, took, <laughs> he, he took a week off from uh, targeting poor and people of different races and uh, was like, oh, hey, it's freaking sad over here. Hey, but he really cleaned up Times Square. Now it's fucking awful. It used to be cool. <laughs> um, <laughs> there's no more WWF New York. Yeah, That's no. true. I only, there's only one last little like scraggling hanging on remnant of coolness in Times Square and it's Guy Fieri's American Kitchen. Uh, you know, I regret it, to inform you that's gone. What? No. Yeah, it's just the it. M&M so store. Now, now. <laughs> so now there's nowhere to crank off in Times Square? <laughs> <laughs> that sucks. You know, oh, uh, Vice, Vice President Mike Pence when he took his family to New York City took them to the uh, like Olive Garden at Times Square. <laughs> Every possible restaurant. I thought it was TGI Friday. The Fridays. most uh, it was it. It was one of those. It was I, one of them. Yeah. Yeah. It was a Same microwave. Thing. TGI bag. Fridays. Oh my fucking. No, God. that seems a little. TGI Friday seems a little hard partying for fucking Mike. Yeah, That's it does. Seem, well, you know. Well, I, I'm telling you, I think it was a TGI Friday. He's a family guy. He wants. To hey, 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 hey! Don't compare that dork Mike Pence with the family guy. Because oh. my family guy, <laughs> Peter Griffin, he knows how to laugh. My family guy is Joey Calabresi. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> now that's a crossover, but everybody yeah. wants. Yeah, <laughs> Speaking of uh, New York City, though, w- w- our protagonist is in a heck of a uh, soup, a thick soup at the beginning of this movie. Scene, oh, tell me about it. He's in a real gumbo. Two. Yeah, he's in trouble. He's a... Uh, it, it, he's you know his voiceover indicates that he's in some trouble and then uh as the scene ended which franklin indicated but continues into this scene we're panning over a, a newly moved into apartment so we see that he's a man uh not at ease perhaps he's a man mm-hmm. on the move uh, is yeah. he a man on the run who can say but he's he he doesn't belong anywhere yet he's a man without a home now he's on a ledge here so we're getting something of a fight I club wish type. you would step back from that <laughs> ledge, my friend. So this was something I didn't understand because mm-hmm. it seemed like from the way that this uh, minute was shot, like coming up to him and everything, that we were supposed to feel nervous or scared for him to be standing on the edge of his balcony like that. But I do that pretty much every night. 
It's the only mm. way I can get to sleep. It just, you know, it's soothing where you're like, <laughs> I could fall and this would all be over. And I don't understand why they make it seem like a bad thing. I don't well, know. You stand on the ledge and wait to fall asleep. And if you fall forward, you're dead. And if you fall backwards, you're alive. And you just fall backwards every single night so far. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's also, that's bad. amazing that you have roof access. Hashtag jealous. Yeah, really. Hey, listen, boys, when you live in uh, the big city of Toronto, Ontario, the they got to keep going straight up to the sky because there's no oh. land left. Home of the defending champion, Toronto Raptors. That's I. It's hard to talk about, but yes, that's true. I love how Kyle Lowry said, uh, you know, just call us the champions. I, I don't like defending champions. Doesn't that imply a lot? Yeah, don't call us the defending champions. We're not defending <laughs> shit. I mean, listen... Because he Call knows he's going to win it. Hey, look, when Le, you know, it when, was a fluke. When the Heat were mm. terrible, after LeBron, you know, uh, uh, you know, when Shaq was like, you know, on his way down, yeah, uh, uh, and we barely made it to the playoffs. Like, we're still the defending champion, motherfucker. You, you will show I, us some respect until we're eliminated. I think the problem is. So I don't know if you guys heard. But we lost a player. Well, two players actually. In the you're, you're, you're the champions, though. You have the you have the but, belt. But so the guys that they replaced him with, uh, Rondé uh, Jefferson, I think, uh, and Stanley Johnson, uh, the last time that uh, Nick Nurse, Canadian hero, even though he's not Canadian, did a interview, he uh, basically was like, yeah, these guys fucking suck. They're not well, playing defense when they were brought in to play defense. He's like, I don't know. We'll find a place for them. And so we're, I think, as a team, we're a little shook right now. But what's going to happen – Serge Ibaka is going to come out. He's going to look beautiful. The handsomest man in the NBA. Mm. Dresses like a hero. Uh, except for Tyler Heron. Tyler Heron is also a pretty good looking Who? guy. Isn't it Tyler Heron? Tyler Hero. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. Uh, yeah. That's like my Canadian accent. No, 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 um, no, that's fine. Tyler Hero. Uh, My Myers Leonard is also beautiful, but... You know, he, mm, he looks <laughs> like a guy job. that would sell you really shitty mushrooms at like bumper shoes. Yeah, he would. He would. And it's like, I guess that's cool, but no, he's not. He's not cool. I'm not going to say he's cool. But, uh, oh, well, moving, that's moving on from the, about the Raptors. Thank you. For <laughs> yeah. Mo moving on from the yeah, NBA, sorry. which people love for uh, fun yeah. guys like us. To discuss. Yeah. People love yeah. them. Uh, <laughs> so some my notes include we see his apartment. We see a piano. Oh, so, he so he's plays. smart. He's like a yeah. Billy Joel. Sing us a song, Margaritaville. Yeah. Sing us a song <laughs> tonight. Uh, I know I, I could be a movie star if I could go to Margaritaville. I saw Billy Joel a couple of years ago, and I told my friend I was going to go see him, and he went, yeah, the boss. <laughs> hey. Hell yeah. I love Pretty that. cool. <laughs> That's fucking unreal. There's only room for one fucking boss. <laughs> That's true. That guy's so dumb. I love that guy. Uh, <laughs> so, so we hear a lot of chainsaw noises early on. In this yeah, yeah, they're trying to break that door. Still, they're still trying yeah, to break that door. Yeah. They're we, trying we, to we, chainsaw through a metal door. Now that so, is, they did not take yeah, that because that <laughs> would not work. No, well, 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 we find out different other uh, later, but okay. Uh, nonetheless, nonetheless, you you haven't seen this movie before, right, Taylor? No, I'm going minute by minute. Oh nice. God. I'll watch it. I, Why? Yeah, yeah no, <laughs> well, watch the actual well, cause, This is going to ruin it for you. Watch the entire movie and just enjoy it. And then just, very do smart. It. just do it. Also, but anyways, uh, you're not invited back after this week. Of course he's invited back, dude. <laughs> we have, you know how many minutes we have to cover? We have 135 <laughs> episodes to cover. If he's invited back, uh, I'm an we're lucky car. if he comes back. We're I'm lucky. The... I'm the Rickles of Bazizio. I gotta roast everybody a little bit. I, Uncle Howard, if there was anyone else, I'd be infu infuriated. Yeah. But you're you're the last of the original bad boys. That's right. I gotta give it up. That's to you. right. That's right. It's like uh, Don Rickles met uh, Frank Sinatra. He was took a lady on a date, and he saw Sinatra somewhere, and he said, like, uh, you know, he went up to a waiter, he was like, "Can you tell Mr. Sinatra I'm on a date with this lady?" And you can come by and maybe say hello to me and make me look good. And Sinatra came by and said, like, oh, how you doing? And non Rickle said, why are you bothering me? I'm on a date. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. Yeah. That's good. Uh, back, back to Limitless. Uh, <laughs> what, starring we, I, Don Rickles. Starring Don Rickles. Uh, Rickles less. 
I mean, wrinkleless. Bald man. So <laughs> they pan up to uh, Edward Mora on top of that roof. Yeah. So did you guys count the floors? Because I did. Oh, I did many? not know how many. Fifty-seven floors. Wow. Oof. He Damn. lives in a talk about a high rise. Yeah, that's the highest high rise. Roller. Yeah. So that's a that's a long trip. times three. Like yeah, yeah like that would be like a, if you jumped off of that or fell asleep and fell off it, like you would run out of breath before you hit the ground. So you would have to like take a breath to keep yelling. <laughs> be very Bill and Ted in uh when they go to hell. Oh yeah, yeah. that's a good scene. Uh, yeah. We hear another line. I yeah, will uh, never let them touch me. No, that's so we don't know cool. We, know who, he, yeah. we don't know who he's talking about, but I have one question. He, he's he's threatening to 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 off himself because the circumstances of where he got to are so bad that we as the audience want to know about him. That's why we're <laughs> we're supposed to feel for him. Like yeah. we're scared because how did, how did this here? guy? Yeah. How did he get here? But also, can he see Stark Tower from where he's standing in that tallest <laughs> building? It's can he see the? Well, can he yep. wave to Tony? Uh, also, uh, if he says, "I'm never going to let them touch me," we know he's not talking about red hot bikini babes. So, <laughs> That's true. So whoever's yeah. banging on that door is not the Hawaiian Tropic models. Yeah. So yeah. something's gone real wrong for this. Guy. Something's gone real wrong. Is there anything else we've noticed from this? Oh, uh, let me see. Oh, this is the first appearance of the sick theme song of Limitless, which... Oh, okay, yeah. in the beginning when they pan up. Yeah, it's a good yeah. song. Uh, it's, it's a very smart song. Yeah, very yeah, smart. Yeah, I wish somebody should add lyrics to it. Oh, man, we'll get there. We'll get there. <laughs> yeah, we'll yeah. Get there. 137 episodes, I'm yeah. sure, at some yes. point. Right. Yeah. Don't remind us. <laughs> Do not remind us. This is a bad idea. This yeah, is well, really... Yeah, well, too late now. We're charging for it. And people are yeah. paying. <laughs> so. Well, yeah, for, for, for how long, who knows? I hope yeah. you're happy, vulgar lasagna. Here I you love know. vulgar lasagna. Yeah, I, I do too. I love the dog man. Yeah, yeah, that that's a, a cool with cats or something. I don't know. Okay, he, the he dog asked a quest. I sent him a message. I said, I don't know who you are. I'm sorry, Fred. And he said, you called me dog guy once. I, I figured like, out who he was pretty <laughs> easily. Welcome but... aboard, dog yeah. guy. Yeah, uh, yeah, I, uh, yeah, I sent him a message too. I, so don't, don't send messages to people that you don't want me to read, Uncle Howard, because I can uh, read the Patreon messages. Oh, man. <laughs> just a heads well, up. I'd, I'd like to apologize to Dog Guy because some people don't see race, some don't even see gender, but me, That's I do them all one better. I don't see people at all. I don't see species. Yeah, yeah, I don't see anything. I'm blind as a bat. <laughs> You're blind well, as shit. <laughs> Well, everybody, this has been minute two of the Minuteless podcast. Uncle Howard, care to do that beautiful sound off, that that beautiful yeah. sign off that you do ever so well. Hey, you are just down one minute less from listening to Minuteless, the podcast about Limitless. Was that it? Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, welcome, welcome, welcome. You have reached the quintessential podcast for all your limitless needs. I am Franklin, and I am joined by the coolest uncle of my whole world, Uncle Howard. What it do? We've made it to hump week. My goodness. And how funny would that be if there was a commercial with a camel in it? Well, I am Uncle Howard. You can find me at Miata Guy for you. I don't think you mentioned. Well, people are listening. They know how to find us. This is the yeah. Patreon. <laughs> Fuck it. Who cares? You probably already know who this next guy is, but his name's Taylor. He runs the Blue Ribbon Podcast Awards. He's a tyrant. And uh, here he goes. All right. Uh, one thing I haven't mentioned the first two episodes, just just so that there's anybody listening that won a blue ribbon uh, award, I do still need those ribbons back. So yeah. please, uh, you point. know, contact me at uh, my Twitter, which is uh, flattery underscore sucks uh, at twitter dot com, and uh, you know, just I'll give you the address. I need those back real bad, not because I don't have any money, 
but just it's hard to explain. You guys wouldn't understand. You haven't taken NZT, so you're not thinking on a fourth level plane like I am. I need those back. That's true. Please. Please get those back. Please send back those blue ribbons, and it's not because he's going to get a refund, okay? So yeah, I'm glad we cleared I, that up. It's not a thing that you guys have to even think about. Just do it, is what I would say. So speaking of people who might need some NZT, who do you guys think this week, this day, needs so, some NZT? So I, I have somebody. I, I hate Go to for jump it. in. But, um, no, please. I don't know if you guys uh, were watching the news today. Uh, but that big ball of ham that you guys call a president was friggin' at it again. Oh boy. What Don't, do you do? He, so he was in front of some cameras and oh, no. he said these things and you're not going to believe it. It was not a thing that you would usually say if you were a president or oh, a boy. person with a conscience. Hmm. And I I think he needs it real bad. NZT oh, yeah. to the rescue is what I'm thinking. Well, mm-hmm. first let me be clear, Taylor. Not yeah. my president, okay? <laughs> Second of all, I couldn't agree with you more. Drumpf. Uh oh. yeah. Oh yeah. Hell yeah, that'll be the end of this. Yeah, that that should do it. I mean, I think uh <laughs> game set match. The resistance. Game set, chess mate. Yeah. yeah. Swish. So, I can't think of anybody right off the top of my head who needs NZT. Uh, aside from that, uh, Bozo president, of, of course. Sure. Uh, is there uh, off the top of my head? Maybe, uh, maybe that AEW roster, huh? How about That's, that? There's a you lot know, of ding dongs in that group. There's a lot of ding dongs there. There's a lot of ding dongs in the world wrestling entertainment as well. Of so course, yeah. Maybe you know what AEW? I, I'm gonna let the, the fact that Marco stunts a thing. Uh, I'm gonna let that slide. Uh, I'm gonna give. I'm gonna prescribe my NZT to the people who run NXT. Uh, I'm talking about Vince McMahon, who's getting money from the Saudis. What, yeah. what, what's up yeah. with that? We don't like that. They're not nice. They're not no. nice. Well, They're money from the good that. people. You they know, the... they threatened to do a 9/11 to Canada on Twitter, and I did not care for that. That's really? no. some shit. Yeah, yeah, they tweeted at Canada and said, yeah, "I recall that." Yeah, it was I, extremely I don't good. That, but I, I will say, oh, it was good. It was, it was okay <laughs> to do nine eleven to America because we're strong enough to handle it. In That's fact, true. You yeah. know what? I dare you to do ten more nine eleven. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Just don't do that. Don't listen to Uncle Howard. Oh, Saudi, we do love our Saudi Arabia. I do have a lot of influence with the Saudis. (laughs) He's very big in the Middle East. Just (laughs) we did get a download from Australia. I'm like the Undertaker. They always pay big money to bring me back. (laughs) 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 What is the fascination uh, with people in the Undertaker? Uh, I don't. I don't want to get into it, but like, yeah, I don't want to get too into it. Yeah, but but like, he's just the best thing I ever heard about the Undertaker was when I was a, a spry 18-year-old and we were watching Monday Night Raw and a friend of mine just kind of looked at me very seriously as The Undertaker came out. This was when he was uh, rolling, rolling, rolling. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And uh, he looked at me and he said, Taylor, Undertaker? More like Blundertaker. <laughs> oh. And uh, 19 years later, I think, uh, I it's all I can think of when I see him. Well, and the time was, that LeBron yeah. owned him. That yes, was my favorite time. That yeah, was my that was favorite. So good. I don't. That, I just don't get the fascination of all with all these people yeah. who who adore him. I really don't. That yeah. upcoming uh, virtual pro shirt of a uh, cry and undertake. Oh, that's gonna <laughs> that get was there. real good. Yeah, I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna get that. Check out our friends <laughs> at Virtual Pros. Uh, nonetheless, the Undertaker's not in this movie. No, but he, I wish you, yeah, he could use a touch of the old alpha brain, huh? Yeah, yeah, right? <laughs> Just because, I mean, hey, maybe he'd realize he needs to retire. Yeah. You're, you're too old, buddy. You're too old. Give it a break, pal. You know? <laughs> oh, it's it's a bit much. It's a bit much right now with the, with the dead man. So, okay. This bit, <laughs> we're in minute three now. Yo, right? His neighbor... His, neighbor his neighbor's died. been shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he died. 
What's up? Yeah. He, he got caught and compromised. He dies up against the window, which I thought was weird because the thugs are at the door. And from the uh, well, you know, so geospatialness that you can work out, they don't seem like they're close to each other. How many they said are there? That he poked, poked his head out the door to tell them to be quiet. Yeah, right, uh, right, right. My neighbor must have complained. Uh, but yeah. he yeah. he sees his neighbor getting killed, uh, which is like parallel with where he is, and we can see thus at the hallway that you know borders there. Oh, room. I see. Right, right. The guy must went be. a couple feet and he backed yeah. before. Yeah, a- a- and yet the uh, the thugs are at his door almost instantly. After well, there's more killing. than one thug. Um, yeah. Well, I don't like to yeah. use that term. Just well, nor do I. The Undertaker <laughs> likes to use that term. Yeah, yeah. I can't use another many term. T-shirts that say "thugs." <laughs> Talk about thugs. <laughs> not right. thugs. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> no, I do not like that term either. You know, yeah, but it's okay because these are these are Russian thugs. Yeah, right, they're exactly. hi- they're, they're hired thugs. thugs. Yeah, they're hired I, guns. I, I, yeah. I he probably got in touch with them through Donald freaking Trump. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh, yeesh. Now that was a good one because yeah. it's That's a smart one too. It's yeah. funny because it's true. It's mm-hmm. based on science. So <laughs> the next the the next line we hear is, "I always wanted to impact the world. Now the only thing I will impact is the sidewalk." No, that's so, cool. It's that's kind of thoughtful. Yeah, that's yeah. thoughtful. Yeah. Well, yeah, you're gonna a of, of yeah, you're going to make a hell of an impact, buddy. You're going to make a splash. Like, when you think, I'm going to kill myself, that's when you start hitting the like, real bone maws. That's fresh, guys. <laughs> that's when they, they really come to you. You're like, fuck, I'm on top of the world right now. Like, so, I always want like, to make a literally. splash, but now the only splash I'm going to be making is like, come on, man. This is yeah. No, that's know. good. And but then, that's like, oh, sorry, go ahead. Oh, no, go ahead, Taylor. I, I was just going to say, like, I bet you a, a million dollars whoever wrote this, a great movie, when he wrote that, he was like, fucking nailed it. And, like, went out for the day to, like, celebrate that he came up with that line. That's a now, good line. That's the, a good the line. Reason, the reason I want you to watch this movie from start to finish, Taylor, is it's one of those yes, movies yes. where you watch it and you first start off and you're kind of like, yeah, I don't know about this. It's kind of dumb. And then by the end, you're like, give me everything. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's, I watched a TV series because I was that hooked from the movie. It's incredible. It's so good. The, the TV show is not that good at all. Uh, but there sure. are appearances of the Edward Mora character. He yeah. gets shot, and he knows he's about to be shot. He's running for president, and he has he knows he's about to be shot. But he knows if he ducks too early, people are gonna know like what? How did he know this? So he has to angle it so he only gets shot like a little bit. That's kind like, of a spoiler in a way, Franklin. I thank you not to mention it. Well, you said you were never going to watch a TV show. You said it wasn't canon. Yeah, well. <laughs> that's what Listen, you said. Guys, well, it isn't canon. And it couldn't possibly be because we know what happens to Edward Mora is incompatible. Or is okay. it with what you just said? Oh, give me a fucking break, man. <laughs> yeah. Give me a fucking I'm looking break. out for... Oh yeah, I, I, well, Edward Mora live or die? We don't know yet. Oh, we don't even know his name is Edward Mora. So thanks for yeah, that spoiler, true. buddy. Oh, you were the one who said it first. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like it to in the see first more episode. More. And Dude, hear less oh, fighting. Yeah, okay, you know what? That's using point. his campaigns. Oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I, I almost spoiled. I was I spoiled it. <laughs> I almost spoiled something there. Yeah. This right. is the best movie that's ever been created. Yeah, it's this is better. a smart movie. Look, look at all this discussion it's getting. There's so much discourse. I mean, it's how true. many podcasts are there that break it down bin it by bin it? At least None. one. I checked. Yeah. Well, one, yes. <laughs> yeah. So we see uh, the shot of like the taxi cabs and all that. We see that sh- the the titular shot of the film. Mm. Uh, not that kind of titular. Mm. Uh, uh, it's too bad. Yeah. So they're zooming in on these cabs. It's a, it's a very cool shot. Uh, I'm not a, I'm not a film guy, but I think it's, yeah, a, very, it's a cool it's, shot. It's going oh, down. It's the... kind of Fight Club ish. Uh, Is that the one where it kind of spins? Yeah. It zooms, the camera. Like, going down yeah. The it zooms through like car windows to different oh, shots yes. of things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. No, I, I, I wrote down about that. Uh, again, like this is a thing where like the director was like, fucking nailed it. Another yeah. triumph, and it's, it's cool. Homage, like it's not a bad. To Fight Club, man. First, both characters of Fight Club and Limitless are like, you bet your what you got here. You know? Yeah, well, and then you get the cool intro. About- 
Making yourself cool and smart. That's and the second perfect. rule of Fight Club, of course, was there is no limits. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah, a lot of people don't know that uh, Fight Club was TNA's X Division, where the only weight limit is <laughs> no limit. <laughs> God damn. Yeah, Fight noted Club Christian AJ Styles. Yeah, big, yeah, big, big Fight Club fan. A big Fight Club fan. Um, uh, also, when he's falling and it goes through that, is when what first is revealed to us the title of the movie is called limitless see we spoiled more things earlier too yeah but that's, that's, that's the, we don't we don't know the name of the movie you know yeah. and then we see <laughs> we see that there's a lot of actors in it that you've never heard of before but that doesn't matter i bet you haven't heard a lot of things that are good so don't judge them the uh, one that caught my attention was tv carpio who's a singer she's a singer oh okay. tb cooper oh no okay uh then we also see a guy named robert de niro the second time he, yeah. he's, uh, guy. So this is, the, the, the yep. speculation i heard for a long time was people were just getting sick of working with him and like the only people who would like like working with him were brad cooper and uh jennifer lawrence well and and there's just great. like He's just like I need a movie. Like he has to beg these cool young people for a movie that like still respect him. You know what? Is that real? That's nah, a real thing I've heard. I don't, I don't believe that. I you don't believe. Oh, cause <laughs> you know, you know what I don't believe. And I'm sorry to interrupt. That's you anti-Italian Howard. discrimination. Okay, well, you know what I don't believe? Uh, this theory that uh, that Robert De Niro is part of the the Hollywood A list. I, I was hanging out with Joke Man, and he was for some reason talking about who's in wow. the A list right now. And okay. is they're saying, you know, the A-list, you know, the real A-list, Leo DiCaprio, De Niro, Pacino. Is this like, like, uh, is this still a thing where we're talking about like, oh, the respected actors are Al Pacino from Jack and Jill. Al, Al and Pacino's Robert in and, tons of bad movies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And like, Robert De Niro from Dirty Grandpa. Like, are we no. still talking about how esteemed these guys are? I don't mean they're yeah. less esteemed for doing those movies. Cause I love a lot of those movies. But yeah. like they're just but like people, there. yeah, they think they're kind of like every, I don't think anybody said anything nice about Robert De Niro since like when did the first analyze this movie come out? <laughs> that might have been the last time. What about um, analyze that? Dirty Grandpa Grand got one. a lot of good reviews. <laughs> That's true. There was a dirty, <laughs> dirty gra- there was a Dirty Grandpa campaign uh, led know. by a friend of ours, Theodore. Uh, so yeah. you know, I'm not look. I saw Dirty Grandpa in the theaters. Can either of you say that? I can't. You know, I you know what my, know. you know what my beef with Robert De Niro in that movie is. The you don't see dirty balls. balls. You see his balls right? in it. Yeah, yeah. He's, I, he puts his balls. He puts his balls on Zac Efron's like <laughs> face, who's his nephew, by the way, or some shit. That is that's dirty. Dope. And 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 those are st- <laughs> that's, that's assault. assault. That's assault, brother. my brother. <laughs> <laughs> and it, it all goes back to Sandler, and. <laughs> <laughs> Those are fake balls. So tough to respect a thespian of the arts. Bad uh, mode act- actor, yeah, yes. method actor. <laughs> what are you? He I... probably he definitely would have pulled his balls out for real then in that case. I think he definitely begs Jennifer Lawrence and, and Bradley Cooper for work. For sure, for sure. Oh yeah, he's he's redeeming, yeah, he's he's redeeming himself in that in that regard. Yeah, that's a hard Trump. opinion that's, to have. Most people yeah. don't feel how, that how way. brave. How brave. Yeah, he yeah. said fuck him. Yeah. That's yeah. pretty cool. That Donald Trump, Home Alone. Donald 2? Trump was in a uh, Home Alone too. Yeah. Nope. No, no, thank Meet you. Meet the Fockers. You know. Oh, Bernie. Um, there's, there's there's Gaylord Fokker and uh, 
That's I don't know the other ones. Ben but... Stiller. Yes, yes. What about Little Fuckers? So, so you know, the initial title for that one was called Meet the Parents Presents Little Fuckers because they didn't think you would see the movie Little Fuckers if it was just titled that. <laughs> so it was initially called Meet the Parents Presents. Like, American Pie Presents Bandcamp, Meet the Parents Presents... That's yeah. Thing. No, you get the Meet the Parents brand. They signed their name to it. <laughs> hey, they, they gave it the seal of approval. You know, but uh, we mentioned Home Alone 2 Lost in New York is Limitless part of that timeline because they're both in New York. Yeah, it has to be with Avengers. Yeah, with Avengers. <laughs> A lot of shit has happened, man. Yeah. Man, you think you think Bradley Cooper could see low key from where he was uh, standing there? Yeah, he the definitely Atari can. Army? Yeah. Yes, very serious man. I stand in front of a map when I'm apologizing for no showing us. Yeah. I love that guy. I love him. I love him. Uh, anyways. Yeah. yeah he's, he's a very intelligent. He doesn't need any NZT. <laughs> to the kills. Uh, anything else we'd like to add about this minute? Uh, just one thing. The music supervisors were named Happy Walters and Season Kent. So Yeah, I saw that Happy Walters had a, 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 an Oscar nominee. Oh, good for you, Happy yeah. Walters. I looked up Happy Walters. Yeah. Uh, mm. I don't know. Who cares? And not yeah. limitless. It wasn't good. It wasn't a Legion, Divergent, Insurgent, Limitless. That that all share the same font, by the way. He loves that. They all have the same font. I think the others are in italics. That's it. He made the limitless font in italics. <laughs> Called it well, a day that, at work. That's how you know really it's proud smart. Of himself. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Very true. Yeah. Uncle Howard, would you care to send us off? Oh, uh, that was just one less minute of Minuteless, the podcast about Limitless. So don't limit yourself, miss or mister, and enjoy the rest of your day.